A new and troubling development tonight in the coronavirus outbreak. For the very first time, doctors are reporting a California resident with no known risk factors has become infected. The person never traveled to Asia, doesn't know anyone who did, and doesn't know anyone who was infected. This new case has set off alarms across our state. Here's what we know about that person who is infected. California is reporting that first case of so-called community exposure, meaning the patient got infected here in California from someone else, but no one knows who it is. The patient identified as a Solano County resident and is in a hospital right now in Sacramento. Also tonight, the U.S. is reporting 60 cases of coronavirus, and that includes Americans diagnosed both here and in other countries. We have in-depth live coverage for you tonight on all the developments here at home and in Washington and around the world, beginning with KCALINE's Chris Holmstrom live in our newsroom tonight. Chris? Susie and Jeff, we're learning more about this mysterious patient in the Sacramento area tonight. Also tonight, we've learned one of the biggest challenges Challenges is there's nowhere in the state to test people who think they might be infected. Tonight, assistant professor at UC Davis Bennett Penn wrote to Twitter saying, COVID-19 case just diagnosed in ICU or med center, suspected of being community acquired. I thought it'd been a while before this happened, but looks like it's time to buckle up. The patient is identified as a resident of Solano County, and he or she is now hospitalized in Sacramento. The CDC says the infected person did not travel and was not knowingly exposed to anyone else who was infected. We only have this one confirmed case of community transmission, but it suggests that we don't know where they got it from. So the person who exposed them probably exposed others. So there's probably other cases out there in the community that we don't know about. That test was done on Sunday. It took several days for the patient to find out the results. CDC is the only uh, place where we can get testing done in the U.S. The lab? is in Atlanta, Georgia. CDC uh, distributed test kits to all the local health departments. Uh, there was a problem with that kit, and so we're still waiting for new kits to be distributed. In California, 200 tests have been given, 24 of them in L.A. County. But same story here. Results take days. It's, it's very frustrating that we don't have a test for this at this point. Dr. Manuel Monjin is lead physician at Urgent 9 and Urgent Care Center in Glendale. He says people have been coming in wanting to get tested for the virus, but there's a certain criteria they must follow. If you have uh, cold-like symptoms and or a fever and recent travel from uh, China or around the area of China. Or if you've been exposed to someone who had the virus. And the CDC is hoping to get tests to local centers in the next week. As for what people can do to protect themselves, doctors say treat it like any other illness. Cover your mouth when you cough and wash your hands. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Chris, thank you.